uh, hi everyone today we will be discussing about uh, a very fast fuzzy matching algorithm for string known as the bitap algorithm uh, why the name so because it uses bitwise operations uh, for finding the fuzzy match and hence very fast in it. Uh, so without wasting a bit let's get started assume that we have this particular string abd aba babc the input string where we wish to find out a fuzzy match for the string a b a b c so uh, we would be considering s0 as the uh, string for which uh, we are trying to find pattern in s1 so s0 is the string that uh, we are trying to figure out in s1 a fuzzy match for them so first of all uh, the first step in bitap algorithm is to identify the total unique characters being used in both s0 and s1 so in our case it would be a b c d as you can see in s o there are a b c and in s1 there are a b d a a b d c now we need to form bit patterns for each characters now let's understand how to do this so using the s0 string which uh, for which you are trying to figure out a fuzzy match in s1 uh, we would be creating this uh, bit patterns for each character assume them to be a, uh, assume them to be a temp array t a t b t c t d where the parameter being passed a refers to the bit pattern for that particular character so if we say t a it means that the string is the, the bit pattern is for character a if we say t b uh, the bit pattern is for character b similarly now what we need to do is that how are we creating this bit patterns first of all you need to invert this s0 so if it is a b a b c we would be doing it c b a b a we are just reversing the string and uh, for whichever character that particular bit pattern is we would be giving a value 0 else for all the others we would be giving a value 1 so you can see that once you have reversed the string c b a b a wherever we have got a we are putting a value 0 and uh, else we are putting a value 1 so the bit pattern for a becomes 11010 similarly for uh, b you can see that at the second position and the fourth position we are having a 0 as we have figured out a uh, b for that position and else all the characters are given a 1 1 0 1 0 1 in case of c also similarly in case of d so as you can see that uh, character d is present in the input string but not in the uh, string in which uh, which we are trying to find a fuzzy match for so in that case as we don't have uh, any any d in the s0 string we will be putting all the values as one because it does make sense right we, as uh, following the above logic only so we have got the bit patterns for all the four different characters that we have got now what we are doing is that we would start off with an initial state of the size of the length this s0 so s0 has five characters so we will get uh, so we will start off with the initial state of bit pattern 11111 assume it to be uh, some uh, arbitrary array that we are getting started state s equals to uh, 11111 it, it it can be taken as a default state where we haven't found any match yet now we will pass through each character from s1 and then update this uh, s state 11111 that we have uh, like getting that we have got started with so as you can see that what we would be doing is that if we find a match with any of the characters like uh, a b c d so i will show you how we are doing two things one is we would be shifting a zero at the lowermost bit of s state s so if we figure out uh, assume that we have got a uh, so we would be replacing this one by zero we would be uh, shifting a zero in the lowermost bit and then we would be doing an or operation with the temp array of that particular character so if we have figured out a what we would be doing is that hence as you will encounter first a in s1 so the first character in s1 is a okay so here what we are doing is that first of all we will shift a zero in s at the lowermost bit so s is 1 1 1 1 1 it is the initial state remember this so anytime we will be uh, going to figure out a fuzzy match we'll start out with this particular initial state only all ones we'll uh, we will push in a zero at the lowermost bit that now it becomes 1 1 1 1 0 and then we'll be doing an or operation with the but uh, with the temp array of that particular character so as you figured out as we have got a so the temp array for a is 1 1 0 1 0 so we'll be doing an or operation we will get 11110 now as you move to the second character b in the string you can see that the second character is b right we will again shift a 0 to s to form 11100 
as now this the last one 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 zero becomes our current s okay now as we are moving on to the next character we got a b so we will again push a zero uh, at the lower most bit so now it becomes from one 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 zero to one 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 zero zero and then we'll do an or operation with a temp array of b so if you remember the temp array for b is one zero one zero one so once we do that we get one 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 zero one now uh the third character being d if you remember uh, for d the temp array was one 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 we'll again shift a zero uh to this newly formed uh estate from uh, when in quarter or last character b so it was one 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 zero one now we'll again push in a zero so it becomes one one zero one zero and then when we'll do an or operation with d it becomes all ones again so uh wh what is happening is uh, that as in when you're figuring out a character that is not present uh it is uh like in this case it gets reset to the initial state that is one 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 if you remember uh, we started off with the initial set s equals to all ones and as d is encountered now d is not present in the s0 string for which we are trying to figure out a fuzzy match uh this particular st uh, state again re gets reset to 11111 now uh in this particular example you can see how different value how as we will encounter different characters uh how will the string how this particular state s will change so we have done till here a b c d you can try out for all the remaining characters for the string now if you see that in the last we get a string 01111 the final state that we have got uh what does this mean that if a zero reaches the topmost bit in state s as in the case of the last character uh, when we have encountered c we have uh, we have reached to the the zero has reached to the uh, last character it means that we have a full match in the string so we are pushing on zeros in the lower lower most bit and if uh in and at any point the zero reaches to the topmost bit it means that we have a full match in the particular string also uh, you can observe zero at different positions so if the zero is at the fourth place and not at the fifth place so you can see that uh you need to observe the topmost zero so uh, in case of when c is not encountered you can see that the state is 10101 it states that uh we have figured uh, we have found four characters out of five characters so the fuzzy match is for that uh, out of five characters we have found, we have figured out four characters so depending upon the position of the uh the highest most zero that you can give us an idea about the fuzzy match also uh, as you can move a one bit lo lower down so you can get the state is 11010 it means that uh as the zero is at the third position we have uh, we have matched three characters out of the five characters that we uh, that are present in the s0 string